Hi everybody, welcome back to my Rad Beauty Blog. I'm gonna go through my daily anti-aging skincare routine with you. Um, I'm not gonna do a cleanser because I tend to use different cleansers um, because I like to experiment and I'm just not consistent enough to really go through a daily cleanser with you. I'm gonna share with you the routine that I do every single day and I'm gonna start with the Marcel Tonifying Lotion. This is just a simple toner for normal to dry skin and it's fragrance free which I really like. It's hard to get a toner that is fragrance free and is just nice and clean and simple. And this one has cucumber extract and peach and it does a little bit of hydration. It wipes away any excess makeup and dirt and residue and it also really preps your skin for absorbing the next of your skincare products. I probably have gone on this soapbox before but if you, the importance of a cleanser and toner are to get your skin at the pH level that's necessary to have the rest of your skincare routine work effectively. If you're not using these things, um, at the very minimum, a good cleanser that will do this, you're kind of wasting your money with the next stuff that you put on your face. Um, there are a lot of cleansers on the market these days which will tone as well, so you have a ton to choose from. Uh, I do understand if you want to skip, skip the actual formal toner, um, that's fine, but just find a good cleanser that will prep your skin properly. Um, Yes, so the next thing I put on, and this speaks uh, volumes for, again, having your skin at the right pH, because the next thing I put on has 10% glycolic. This is the Neostrata Glycolic Renewal Serum. And glycolic acid very specifically requires the right pH balance um, for, for it to work. Um, your skin is slightly acidic and that's what you want for the glycolic acid to really, really do its thing and get in those pores and stimulate that collagen production. Uh, this one also has uh, antioxidants from hibiscus, which is a very high source of vitamin E, uh, which is a nice antioxidant. The, there's still more research. The research I've read is a little bit uh, inconclusive, but it does look like there's a lot of studies that are showing hibiscus is a fantastic source for you know repairing that free radical damage. Uh, and I've worked my way up to the 10% glycolic, which means that my pore reduction is significant. My skin is super, super smooth, which again, provides a fantastic platform for makeup. And it's, it just brightens, it helps to decrease dark spots and all that, all that fun stuff. So I, Neostrata is one of my favorite to get glycolic. They're the ones that actually brought it from a prescription only basis to the public that where you can buy it off the shelf. So we are really in a good day and age of skincare. And I should say again, Neostrata in Canada is super different from Neostrata in the US. Uh, even the packaging. In the US you'll find it in sort of the mass area of the mass produced skincare, which is very different. And I could go on a whole rant about Retin-A versus Retinol and stuff like that. There are good cheaper skincare products, that's not what I'm saying, but there's a lot of low-grade ingredients in many of the companies that are just the grab-and-go mass products. But anyways, continuing on, my eye cream is the Paula's Choice Resist, and um, this one is really nice because it's got shea butter in it, so it really, really hydrates the area around the eyes. Which again, if you've ever tried to put concealer on a dry eye situation going on, you'll see that it's just a nightmare. Uh, it gets so cakey and creasy. So this one provides a very, very nice hydration. Shea butter is like close to composition of our natural lipids. So our skin just recognizes it right away and soaks it up. It's one of my absolute favorite, favorite um, ingredients to use to hydrate. And it also has a ton of uh, peptides, it's got antioxidants, so it, it really helps fight wrinkles and, and plumps the area, which again, great for makeup. And then the last thing I put on is the Paula's Choice Moisture Boost uh, Broad Spectrum. 
um, sunscreen. And this is an SPF 30 and it has antioxidants in it which is really nice again you can never get enough like sorry blah, blah, blah. toronto is a heavily polluted city and antioxidants really help to fight the damage that we do to our cells when we're in the sun when we're in pollution um event i went to the event training last night and they had this really incredible demonstration of taking a young healthy skin skin sample and then exposing it to uv for two weeks and it's just destroyed after the collagen is just a piece of garbage and then they they add um retinaldehyde which is a, a form of vitamin a and it it fixes it the cell is completely healthy in after the the trial so that's what we're do, doing to our skin is just exposing it to uv rays all the time so that's my rant. Um, so it, antioxidants and sun protection are something that's very important to me. And I love this one too because it uh, has no fragrance and it does, the, it has, you know, anti-wrinkle ingredients in it as well. So yeah, it's, it also makes like a good makeup base. It is more of a mineral sunscreen. So those of you who don't like to have to rub it in, um, to get rid of that white cast might not love this but as far as a mineral sunscreen I didn't find it had a ton of white cast and I don't mind you know taking a little bit of time to rub it in and yeah so that is my skincare routine and I found that's been making my skin bright and healthy and helping prevent lines and wrinkles and decrease pores and all of that so I do like the 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 different ingredients in all of these kind of come together to make a complete routine so i hope you found that helpful and i hope you're all having a fantastic day and please like this video and subscribe bye